now we are going to study methods to reduce friction that how we can reduce friction when we want to reduce the friction so first step we are having you may reduce friction by making surfaces polished so we can make a surface polished in order to reduce the friction if surface will be polished polished means less irregularities will be there if less irregularities will be there means less interlocking between the object and the surface will be there so due to less interlocking less like frictional force will be there so you can make a surface is polished in order to reduce the friction so second point we are having by using lubricants such as oil and grease the moving surfaces of machine are made smooth so whenever moving surfaces of the machine are not working properly that time what we are doing we are giving just lubricants to them lubricant means oil and grease we are giving oil and grease to them why we are giving oil and grease so that the surface of that machinery parts will become smooth smooth means irregularities will be less if irregularities will be less then interlocking between the surface and object will be less and due to less interlocking friction will be less so my by making the surface smooth or by giving the oil or grease to any machinery part we can easily reduce the friction next we are having third point to play carom we with sprinkle fine powder on it the fine powder act as a lubricant might be you have seen the, in this kind of game like whenever we are playing carom board there we are just sprinkling the powder on it why we are sprinkling powder on it to make the board more smooth make the board more smooth means there is less irregularities between the board so if less irregularities will be there so with the coin there will be less interlocking so with the less interlocking less friction will be there and our coins can move very easily over the board so that is why we are going to sprinkle the powder or fine powder on the surface of board okay next we are having next point methods to reduce friction by using wheels and rollers we can easily pull a heavy suitcase means whenever you are using wheels and rollers over a heavy suitcase we can easily roll over it on the ground why because as i already told during the rolling friction due to the rolling there is a less contact between the object and the surface due to less contact between the object and the surface there is less interlocking due to less interlocking there will be a less friction so that is why we are using some kind of wheels or rollers on a heavy suitcase that we can easily apply the force and it can easily roll over the surface even though we cannot slide we cannot slide this bag over the uh, like road sliding is very difficult because when you want to slide this bag i am going to slide like this i am going to pull it like this okay so here when you want to pull it like this here is a more contact between the surface and the bag due to more contact more interlocking will be there and more friction will be there so it is easier to roll something on a ground than to slide something on a ground next we are having here fifth point rolling friction of wheels can be further reduced so when i already told that rolling friction is less as compared to sliding friction if you want the rolling friction less more and more less further reduce how we can further reduce by using a ball bearing might be in your drawers you have seen that we are able to we are easily opening the drawers how we are easily opening the drawer because in the drawers this ball bearing is attached if in your drawers no ball bearing is attached then we are just applying more and more force in order to take that box out but due to this ball bearing rolling friction will be very easy rolling friction will further reduced and we can easily open the drawer or oh, even though here in this also might be you have played played with this this is a fidget spinner in a fidget spinner also there is in a center ball bearing is there so with this ball bearing we can easily rotate this fidget spinner by applying some force so here rolling friction is there so we can easily apply the force and friction is less next we are having this is very important point actually here some bodies we are making in a streamlined shape streamlined shape is like this means from the back side is it is broad and in the front side it is like this it is not too much broad like the shape of fish shape of aeroplane these all shapes are streamlined shape why they streamlined shape because whenever fish or plane is moving for example this plane is moving in a sky due to air air is also using some air is also giving some kind of frictional force to the plane due to this frictional force between the plane and the air the motion of the plane is going to slow down so in order to reduce this friction what plane is doing plane is having some kind of streamlined shape this streamlined shape will reduce the friction it will cut off the air particles and can move easily into the air that is why streamlined shape is used in various bodies in order to reduce the friction